Head Coach Gary Anderson, congratulations. Well, thank you. It doesn't get any better than this. You've turned around a program that was really, really struggling. And uh, let's see, uh, have a chance for a first outright conference championship since 1936. You're ranked number 25 first time in 34 years. You know these numbers and they're mind boggling. What was going on in your mind post game? You had trouble talking. I mean, yeah. and, and that's that's an interesting for you because you're a good talker. Yeah, it is, it was, uh, it was very emotional. You know, you sit back for four years and just this season it's been special to see a lot of the kids that started this come back to games. You know, Stanley Morrison was at the game at La Tech and uh, Ryan Bishop and I go back and the, the relationships and where we were when those kids were there and the tough times and the, all the battles that we went through and now to be where we are today it's just uh, it's it's almost uh it's almost not real at times when you sit back and it becomes emotional because the kids are so, yeah, you know, I care so much for yeah. them. I'm so attached to them right. to see them uh, have success is, it's, it's special to Winning me. Winning championships like, is yeah. special anyway, but when, you, when you've come from way off and, and, and surprised everybody except yourselves, it's extra special. What was the feeling like at the, at the end when you, you stopped them and then everyone's running around like Well, crazy. I was confused because the <laughs> official didn't quite let me know it was over yet, so uh, I was the last guy to know it, it seemed like, but uh, it was uh, a feeling of relief with uh, obviously La Tech came storming back on us and did a great job and quality quality team there you are um, yeah there we go you jumping guys around. your players and you're trying to figure it up there yeah it's over yeah, see I just know I asked the official <laughs> right there he tells me yes so they knew way before I did but uh, it was a great moment Logan that's my man right there jumping on Logan's back so <laughs> Chucky 340 passing two touchdowns 121 rushing couple of touchdowns 361 four touchdowns uh, I mean, the guy continues to be just unbelievable. Yeah, he is. Chucky's special young man and continues to prepare at a high level. Um, soaks in the offense. I think Coach Wells and the offensive staff highlight him the right way along with Kerwin. And, you know, my hat goes off the, his offensive line, too. Oh, yeah. Those kids are playing injured and yep. hurt all year and have done a tremendous job. But Chucky's a great one. Yeah, uh, how do you, uh, and then you got, you know, Kerwin helping him out. There's yes. the fake, and then he's got room to maneuver. The guy's yeah. fearless. He's, he's not big. He takes hits. He gets he up. He uh, but to also speak to what Kerwin did. Yeah. Well, Almost Kerwin, 300 yards. Yeah. 162 rushing, two touchdowns. 125 receiving and a touchdown. Yeah, Ker Kerwin will break the all-purpose yards next week, hopefully, and uh, for Utah State. And he's, uh, Kerwin's speed, um, his ability, his want to, his care factor is, uh, is special. And it's fun to see those young men have some success. Success like they're having. Okay, some will say you blew a big lead, 41-17, yep. but you knew La Tech's coming back at home. Their offense is too good. They were going to figure things out. How proud are your guys? Are you that your guys, you know, never, never thought, uh oh, here we go again? Well, that's the key. You know, they didn't. They kept on fighting, and, and we started in heavy man coverage, and uh, they adjusted to it. And they have good coaches, and they have good players, yeah. and they took it away and made some plays down the field, and so then it became the ultimate chess match. But when we went into overtime, uh, the kids weren't phased. And, and to be real frank with you, I mean, I think as coaches. You sit back and you, we were a little bit more phased than even they were. The kids were like, Coach, we got this, away we go. And, uh, you know, again, my hat goes off to them for just their toughness. Yeah, here's your overtime. Yep. Great, great first run by Kerwin, got it set up. And the offensive line, I felt like, really took over on this, on this drive. And, you know, Kerwin gets it out there again to him. And he was exhausted. I don't know if they showed him coming off the field after this touchdown on this drive. But it was, uh, that was one tired young man, I'll tell you that much. Incredible stuff. And then yeah. a great adjustment late on the final play of the game. Uh, yeah. you, you talked about your, your co coaches upstairs, you know, you switch to man and, and you put an extra guy in the box because they were running it. Yeah, it's exactly right. They, they tried to pound it a little bit and on the last play, I think Coach Aranda, Coach Bush, Coach Kloon um, did a great job of adjusting the call and we switched calls when they tried to look over and, and get the exact call they wanted against the specific defense and uh, we were able to stick it in there and stop it right there. It's a great play by Jake Dowdy and I thought the coach adjusted very well. And then there we go. And again, it confused me again. All right. Now, shout out to Aggie Nation because you fly in late in Logan, yeah. not a big airport and the kids are looking out the window and there's almost a thousand yeah. Aggie fans. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, I mean, the comments for the kids was, <laughs> holy cow, look at the, you know, it just, it's, uh, it goes on and the smiles, uh, the appreciation that our our kids have for the fans and, and really what our fans have for the kids, it's a special relationship, right. something I've never been around and uh, just thank you to everybody that was there. It's it's a big time Division One football environment and uh, it was awesome. Folks at Texas Roadhouse want to make sure you're well fed. You know, it's important to eat here as you're getting ready for bowl Absolutely. season. Big games coming yeah. up, good meals there. Take Stacy, yep. she, she has, doesn't see you much now, so maybe a good dinner there on them. Yep. And then you're always traveling, so the folks at OGO want to make sure that you have the proper travel equipment, all kinds of stuff there. OGO.com if you're
you're out there and uh, you want to go online yourself. Gary, can I'd love it. continued success. Thank you very I, much. We're so happy appreciate for you because uh, we, we were there. We know how tough it was. And yeah. boy, great well, I job. appreciate it very much. Nice new set, too. This is a big, like big time. Big time. Yeah, it was like, this is yeah. my first trip on the yeah, couch. This is nice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs>